This is a method of reasoning question and we have to identify how the second person has interpreted the first person's assertion. There is no conclusion in the argument. The missing link is between the first person saying that Samber has no experience in drama for a serious role and the second person saying that Samberg's experience as a comedic actor has prepared him for a serious role. Our broad expectation from the correct answer choice is that it should be something on the lines of the second person interpreting that the first person believes that Samber lacks the skills required for a serious role. Answer choice A. This answer choice says that the first person does not think that Samber has the acting skills needed to play the title role of Richard III. Yes, this method of reasoning can be inferred from the argument because the first person says that Samberg is not likely to be successful in the new adaptation of Richard III and says that he has no experience in drama in such a serious role. Whereas the second person says that this is unfair because Samberg's experience as a comedic actor has prepared him for a serious role. So it can be inferred that the second person believes that the first person thinks that Samberg will not be successful in the role of Richard III, which is what is implied in answer choice A. A good answer choice? Let's keep this on hold. Answer choice B. The second person's response does not suggest anything about whether an actor without a dramatic background can successfully portray a serious role. So it is incorrect to state that the second person interprets the first person's argument to imply that no actor who does not have a dramatic background has ever successfully portrayed a serious role. Another way to look at this answer choice is that if the second person had actually interpreted the first person's argument to mean this answer choice, he would have included something about drama in his response, whereas the second person's response does not have any suggestion about drama. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice C. According to the dialogue, the first person has no suggestion regarding comedic acting. So it is incorrect to state that the second person interprets the first person's argument to mean that the first person believes that comedic acting and portrayal of serious roles are similar. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice D. According to the dialogue, the first person makes no suggestion regarding comedic career. So it is incorrect to state that the second person interprets the first person's argument to mean that focusing on comedic career can impede an actor's ability to carry a serious role. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice E. The second person's argument doesn't suggest anything about whether the importance of having dramatic background when carrying a serious role is fair. So it is incorrect to state that the second person interprets the first person's argument to mean that audiences have a tendency to overestimate this importance. So let's eliminate this answer choice. E is the correct answer choice.